Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. Tonight, we are heading back to 1994, and we are breaking open the hobby exclusive and shiny 94 Leaf Limited, made by Don Russ. And uh, um, every one of these boxes was limited to a certain number. This is 10,345 out of 60,000. Um, so a pretty exclusive set here for the time when you think about all the cards and sets that were in production at the time and how many they printed overall 60,000 was a relatively no or a low number back then and the set is uh, a pretty small set 160 cards in it this is Don Ross's first attempt at a super premium product printed on what Don Ross called Spectra Tech cardstock 20, uh, 20 packs per box 5 cards per pack um, the only inserts we can see in here are gold stars, and there are 18, 18 cards in the gold star set, and they're limited to one in seven packs. So I'm hoping we see three in here. We've got 20 packs. Maybe we'll see three. And uh, back in 94, a pack of these would cost you about five bucks. Probably why I never really had any of them. I don't think I ever bought a pack of these before. In 94, I was buying a lot of tops and uh, upper deck, primarily chasing after the Michael Jordan White Sox rookie card and upper deck. Best card, 94 tops. Nowadays, it's probably the Billy Wagner in Series 2. But, uh, so 160 cards. Really no noted rookie cards in this set other than Brian Anderson. Maybe you guys remember him, the pitcher for the Angels back in the day. Um, I'm going to show you now. I have it on my phone here. Here is the Gold Stars set. So, lots of Hall of Famers. Now Hall of Famers in this set. Thomas, Alomar, Boggs, Ripken, Smith, Puckett, Bonds. A couple guys that... Uh, cards aren't really too valuable at all so hopefully we see some of these big name hall of famers and all those guys were all starters from the 94 all-star game so hopefully we catch some of them i am going to wear gloves for this break because these cards uh can get prints on them pretty easily and i don't want my fingerprint oils all of your cards especially if you're trying to uh Send them in for a PSA grade. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I'm really excited about this. Like I said, I don't think I ever bought a pack of these because $5 for a pack of cards back in the day was something that I wasn't trying to fork out, especially when I can get three or four packs of tops for the price of one pack of these for five cards. So let me take a second here, throw some gloves on, and we're going to dive right in. we got four participants. I want to thank you guys all for being here tonight. Really excited about this one. There is a different set, too. I know you were thinking A-Rod's rookie year is 94, but there is a rookie edition set for these as well. So, A-Rod, they only made a gold insert A-Rod card. Pretty valuable still to this day. I still want to pick that one for my PC, even though I know a lot of you guys aren't A-Rod fans. Um, but four participants here. Jeffrey P. starts it off a stack one, so Jeffrey P. will get five packs. And Jennifer Z., Stack two, Joseph B, stack three, and Jonathan H, stack four. Joe Yankee says, stole the gloves from work. <laughs> I have no comment on that one, buddy. Very well could be true, but I am not going to say. So thanks again for being here, guys. Let's go ahead and rip into uh, box number 10,345 of Leaf Limited. And I don't want to smudge your cards up, so I am wearing gloves. I'm going to do it. Dr. John is in the house, Gary Siegel says. That is right. First time ever checking these out. And there's our buddy Joe's card corral. Are you checking cards or prostate? <laughs> our buddy Joe's card corral. Check his channel out if you have not yet. Let's check out what the note says here. Congrats, you have purchased the highest quality and most limited production sports cards ever produced by the, the Don Russ Trading Company. Enjoy these innovative cards. Thank you. That's kind of cool that they give you a note here. But here is a first glance, and we have... This is pretty cool. Kind of a box topper here. Um, individually numbered box, 10,345. Like I said, uh, 60,000 was a relatively no, uh, or a low number for this. And we have a checklist here too, which is pretty cool. So it lists all 160 cards in the set. Some big names in here. Um, you see they have those in bold ink there. So pretty sweet to get that collector's item there. And we're going to go back and we're going to start the first five packs here these are really fancy look inside this box really fancy for that era card 
First look at the pack here, Spectra Tech baseball cards. It tells you where to tear on here. Um, I guess I missed some Super Chats. I apologize for that. I was busy rambling. But the first one is a $2 Super Chat from Donald Blomdahl. It says, greetings, waiting for an awesome Leaf Lemon break. Thanks so much, Donald Blomdahl. Appreciate that. He has grown his channel pretty quickly, so check out Don B. When you get a chance there, click on the Super Chat, give him a sub. And uh, Dream Big Productions, after that, with $2 Super Chat, says, excuse me, do you like the plush bat collectibles? Thank you very much, Dream Big. I appreciate that Super Chat, and I definitely do like those uh, blush, uh, those plush bat collectibles you sent. And everything else you sent, too. You sent some cool collector's items there. I, uh, I appreciate your support of the channel, Dream Big. So here we are on the back. It just basically says the same stuff that we already looked into. But there's pack one, two, the different colors here, three, four, and five. Very, very classy cards for this era. Five packs, five cards a pack, 25 cards per stack. Jeffrey P. is in the hot seat. Stack number one. Let's check out, see what we get here. See how easy these are to open with gloves. Not too bad. Smokey J, he is up right now. He says, woohoo, let's get me some good cards. Yeah, I'm going to individually sleeve all these up too for you guys. Um... When they're sent off to you. First one is Delonda Shields. These are very nice looking cards. Like I said, I always liked these and I never really had any of them at all whatsoever. So Delonda Shields is the first one here. Manny Ramirez is a nice one. Manny Ramirez. Deval White. John Jaha. And the last card is Eric Karras. So two years after he won Rookie of the Year. Very, very nice premium cards. Just a look at the back here. It has quotes from... Different managers on there, broadcasters, whatnot, stuff like that. Very, very nice overall, though. Like the look of these. Philip O says Manny being Manny. If you're interested in getting a box for yourself, these are they're not that expensive anymore. They actually sell for cheaper than they did back in '94. You can pick up a box of these for about 60 bucks, between 50 and 60. They're very, very nice looking cards overall. I'm trying to keep them in the best shape I can. And uh, not get prints on them. That's why I'm wearing gloves for anyone tuning in. The leadoff here is David Justice. I know there's a lot of David Justice fans out there. I'm not going to read all the names. I don't like doing that. But our first Hall of Famer here, Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray there for Jeffrey P. Lenny Dykstra follows that up. And another Eric Karras coming in at the end of the pack there. But uh, nice Eddie Murray. And Beckett, if you go by Beckett prices, they list common cards at 50 cents for this set. Which is pretty premium for that era. Most common cards are about a nickel. Pack three for Jeffrey P. Hoping for some nice ones here for you. Hey, Legion and everybody else. Joseph Cease is calling Dr. Jabs. Charlie Hades leads it off. A Jim Abbott. Ray Lankford. I definitely had that one grow up. Here is the first and only rookie card you can pull out of this set. There is Brian Anderson. And there's Aaron Seeley. I definitely had this one when I was younger. Uh, Seeley was a big, uh, pretty big prospect and one of my favorite players there for a few years. So I was going after all his cards. I probably paid like 10 bucks for that card back in 94. And it was probably valued around there. So that was definitely one I had. Two packs left for Jeffrey P. Dave M says, I too was a Seeley fan back in the day. And I see another Hall of Famer here, Curry Puck in the back. Like I said, the gold leaf cards are about one in seven packs they put the odds at. There's our uh, nice pocket there on top. And look who it is. I didn't even realize he was in this set. There is no escape. Bernard Gilkey rears his head there. Cliff Floyd. I was always a Cliff Floyd fan. Jack McDowell and Annie Bennis. Kind of a bum corner on Annie Bennis there. I'm not really sure how that got banged up. I feel like these are like super protected in these packs. And move on to the last pack here. You can't escape Bernard Gilkey on this channel when you're opening Junk Wax Era cards. Joe Carter we have in the back here. And there's another Manny Ramirez card. Not a bad one at all. Carlos Berga. Or as one of us neighborhood kids used to call him, uh, Carlos Berga. I can't remember Joe's card career, I'll be able to tell us. Dykstra, again, Jay Buhner, and there's Joe Carter. 
So some decent cards in uh, the first stack here for Jeffrey P. A couple Hall of Famers there. Very, very shiny and nice to look at. Like this set a lot. And a $2 super chat from our buddy, Jonathan H. at Autistic Family Collectibles is driving, can't watch. <laughs> is this the Blue Man Group? <laughs> I figured I'd get some heat for wearing gloves, but uh, I didn't want to get fingerprints on these cards. So if you do want to send them to PSA, I do not want to be the reason you get a lower grade because of my bodily oils on the cards. So next up is Jennifer Z. Uh, Jennifer Z is a close friend of the channel. She actually has her own channel now. I don't know if she's in here or not, but uh, she just started making videos. Her most recent one is ripping 2016 Don Russ. Some nice hits in there. And uh, she did a Fairfield box before that, I, or I, I believe. But uh, cool videos there. Check her out if you get a chance and you see her in here. Give her a sub. She's just starting to grow her channel. Ruben Sierra's on top of here. Chili Davis. Sean Dunstan. Trade back. And Deion Sanders. This was definitely somewhat of a valuable card back in the day. I definitely had this one. I want to say I pulled out a grab bag from our LCS back then. Um, discount sports cards, which I know Joe knows about discount sports cards. The place was freaking awesome. We would ride our bikes there. The owner named Dick Brown was a really funny, cool guy. Our buddy Joe definitely, I want to say he made like a homemade custom card of himself and like snuck it in the showcase of discount sports cards to like mess with uh, the owner. Dave M says, did you get my email yesterday? I want to say I just sent you an email back about 20 minutes ago. Craig Jeffries leads his pack off. Weird uh, blemish up there to the top. Hall of Famer Craig Biggio comes in second. Paul Molitor, so a pretty decent pack here. John Burkett and Ken Hill. So not seeing uh, not seeing a Griffey or a Thomas or any of those guys yet, but uh, hopefully we do see one of them here soon. And we're definitely due, based off the odds, for a gold card here soon of one of the 94 All-Star Game starters. Or it should be coming up very soon. Brett Boone, Brian McRae, Wilson Alvarez, um, Mickey Tennelton, and a John Wetland in that pack. So nothing too great in that one. Some commons for the most part. We have two packs left here. Scotty Arms has Silver Surfer in this set. Leading off with a Saberhag in here. Andy Van Slyke, nice one. My brother's favorite player when we were growing up. And Bobby Bow. Two foreign buckos, Bip Roberts, and there's a nice one, Cal Ripken Jr. A nice Cal Ripken Jr. with a quote from Ernie Banks in the back here. In Cal, you have a young man who is highly talented and real professional. He's a true example of how to deal with success. Very nice Ripken there for Jennifer Z. And some buckos for you, too. Jennifer Z is local to the Pittsburgh area, so I think she PCs buckos. This is a Vance Slyke and a Bobby Bo. He's in a Mets uniform. But uh, still, Todd R says we want Eric Plunk. He might be in here. And here's a nice one, a Frank Thomas gold card. So the first gold card we find is a Frank Thomas. Super nice hit for you there, Jennifer. Very nice. Hall of Famer Frank Thomas. Yeah, um, the rookie edition has actually has John Hudak rookie card in it, which I know you guys would be going crazy over. But... Uh, that whole rookie set is complete trash, so we'll probably never do a break on those unless we really want to try to find the uh, A-Rod uh, gold rookie card, which is probably pretty hard to find. But Frank Thomas gold insert card there. Chris Weaver says, nice, Thomas, congrats, Jennifer. That is a very nice card. And our Cedeno, Devon White, we'll see him again, Robin Ventura, and Carlos Delgado with the weird blemish to the top there again. Carlos Delgado is actually third-year card, but uh, super nice Frank Thomas. If you want to send that in, it uh, doesn't look too bad. These cards are really easy to get scratched up on the front and get fingerprints on them and everything else and just get to be a huge mess. That's why I'm wearing the blue gloves. But I uh, like that hit a lot. And Jennifer's last pack, too, comes through with the Thomas Gold. I'll definitely be uh, throwing that in a case for you, Jennifer. I don't, I don't really think you do PSA, but uh, I'll still make sure it's protected regardless. The next one up is Joseph B., our good buddy Joseph B., it's actually getting ready to send a package out to you uh, today, and I realize that you're in this break, so um, I'll be sending those out to you tomorrow or the next day. Chuck Chicago says, calling Dr. John Dr. Jabs. <laughs> that is right. The doc is in tonight, and he is trying to pull some fire here. 
Oh, uh, Jennifer isn't here. Yeah, please check her out when you get a chance, too. Like I said, she just started doing videos. So we got five more packs. Joseph B., you're up, man. Hopefully pull you some Yankees here. And some other nice stuff. See so yeah, we should be due for another gold card here. Dave Justice leads it off. Brian Harper. Henry Rodriguez, Els Burks, and Jimmy Key. Starter in the 94 World Series for the first pack. So one Yankee in there for you. Not sure how much of a Jimmy Key fan you are, Joseph, but uh, there's one for you. I was definitely a fan of Jimmy Key back in my younger years, in the late 80s. Kent Herbeck starts things off in this pack. Jason Bure, a lot of hype around him in the early 90s. Chuck Carr, same thing with him. And there's a Juan gone. Nice Juan Gonzalez there. And Eric Karras again. Is Eric Karras a new omen on this channel? This is the third one we've seen in the last pack. But uh, these cards are so beautiful. I love them. I really like the design of these. I like 95 Leaf Limited too, but I think I like these ones better, honestly. So maybe do 95 Leaf Limited in the future. At some point, key rookie in there is the Nomo. Just doesn't have too much value to it anymore, but... Uh, these are just, I don't know, they're nice to look at. A lot better than looking at 88 tops, I should say. There's a crook starting things off. Gary Guidi, Ricky Henderson. I definitely had that card back in the day, too. I want to say I pulled out of a grab back at the same spot, discount sports cards. Hall of Fame Ricky Henderson, nice one there for you. And there's a Wade Boggs. So not too shabby there, Joseph B. A Wade Boggs for you, Yankees fan. Scott Cooper ends that one out. Hey, thank you to everyone that subbed Jennifer Z. Appreciate that. We got two packs left. It's gonna be a relatively quick break tonight. Only a hundred cards to go through here. See a Tom Glavin on top here. It's a nice one. Hoffer Tom Glavin. Randy Johnson, back to back Hoffers. Nice. Roberto Kelly. Mike Piazza, that's a nice one. Mike Piazza, and Aaron Seeley. So overall, decent pack there, Joseph. I'd be pretty stoked about that one if I were you. Nice stack you picked here. Several Hall of Famers in there. And then we go on to the last pack here of the exclusive Spectratech cardstock. like that Piazza a lot. It's a nice one. Phil M. is looking for one sub, if anyone wants to sub him. He's one away from 116. Mark Grace is on top here. Joseph C. says, Glenny Box is 91 Don Russ laying around you break tonight. I don't know if everyone will hit 91 Don Russ again. I definitely have a lot of boxes stockpiled. I probably have like, I don't know, 50 or probably like 50 wax boxes stockpiled. Um, I just keep buying them. If I see them for a good price, I cannot pass on them. People hate me for it, but... I love Junk Wax era. I love buying wax boxes, especially when they're a good price. A lot of those are supposed to go on the Patreon packages, but I never actually set it up, so I don't know what I'll do. Chris C. says, John, do you and your brother get grief from your friends for your YouTube channels? Um, not really. I mean, my friends in real life, they don't really uh, they don't really watch my channel at all. <laughs> I think like what, maybe one, one of them does here and there, but uh, the majority of my friends do not. They don't watch my channel at all. They don't really have interest in baseball cards, really, or toys. Reggie Sanders, Brian Harvey, and a Mark McGuire Big Mac ends that stack out for Joseph B. I say you had some pretty good luck in this break, Joseph. Some nice cards. Chuck Chicago says, wow, great friends. <laughs> yeah, they just I don't have too many friends that uh, collect toys and cards. I really don't. Like, you know, Eric and I go out together every weekend. And uh, besides that, there's not really many at all. Like, I was out, I was skating with my buddy today before I started the break. I was telling him, like, I'm pretty excited to do this Leaf Limited break, man. They're like, pretty awesome set, pretty exclusive cards from the 90s. He's like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> and he collects cards. He usually buys newer ones. He's a big Padres fan. But uh, he definitely isn't uh super interested in it like you know eric is or i am and like that that's okay not a big deal but yeah friends in real life don't really watch the channel jeffrey drew says john doing a garage sales weekend what kind of grab bags 
would be appealing. Um, if you could find baseball card grab bags, I don't know because I see a lot of junky ones and I bought quite a few junky grab bags just to open them up and see what I can get. Usually they put like one half decent card, like dollar card on top and the rest are all trash, in my experience. And Joe Young says, you guys go to the Philly show Saturday. You know, Eric is talking about coming down there on Saturday. Um, maybe even Friday night and spending the weekend in Philly, checking out card shops, hopefully some toy shops, and checking out that big 250 dealer uh, Value Ford show. He asked me if I wanted to go. I haven't given a straight answer yet, but uh, I probably will. Joe's Car Corral says I have maybe one friend that's watched my channel. Hey, thanks a lot, Christian. I appreciate it, man. Really appreciate it. Glad it uh, helps you out there. Delonda Shields, Raphael Palmiro, Matt Williams, Bill Swift, and Clemens. Another nice one. Yeah, so if any of you guys are in Philly, Jersey area, or whatever else, if you want to come out, or if you're coming out to Valley, Ford, Valley Forge Show, please uh, stop by and say hello if you see us there. I, I just don't know what day we're going to be, if it's going to be like... Uh, Saturday or Sunday, really not sure. Hoping to see like, a Griffey in here. Yeah, all the best, Christian. Hopefully everything is okay. And I uh, wish you a speedy recovery with whatever it is in the hospital. Eric Anthony leads this one off. Derek May. And Paul L. says the grab bags are fine as long as Al Padrique's gold cuff card is in it. <laughs> Moises Alou. Darren Dalton and a Mark Witten. Too bad it's not the Mark Witten and 91 Tops error card that... I want. Jeff Sanders says, what's with the, what's with the gloves? Um, wearing the gloves just for these because of how easy they can get fingerprints all over them. These cards get smeared up really easily. So what I'm going to do is, I see a Lee Smith on top here. Hall of Famer Lee Smith in pack number three for Jonathan H. I forgot to even say Jonathan H is up. I was distracted. I see a gold card in here too. So I'm hoping that's somebody good. But... Um, yeah, if I was if I had my didn't have gloves on right now and I was touching the corners of these, they would be or the sides of these they'd be all smudged up and everything else. Like and it'd be a giant mess and I don't want to do that to your cards. If it was my cards, I probably wouldn't wear gloves at all. Jeff Kent, always like Jeff Kent. David Cohn and the gold card. There's Mo Vaughn for Dave Durango. I don't think he's in here, but he's a huge Mo Vaughn, Mo Vaughn fan. The gold card is It's Joe Carter. And these are numbered too, by the way. 8,784 at 10,000. So Joe Carter, not in the Hall of Fame, but uh, definitely had a long, solid career overall, though. Not really a high-valued dollar card, but uh, still, Joe Carter, I would take that over Mariano Duncan or Jimmy Key uh, any day. So another gold card there. The Frank Thomas was very nice to see that one. We didn't look at the back of that one, the one in uh, Jennifer Z's stack there. I completely forgot. They're all number out of 10,000. You guys might remember that from the 90s. That was a big thing, a big number, 10,000. You pull elite cards, they were all out of 10,000, but they were super hard to pull. The Frank Thomas is 7,558 out of 10,000 numbered. And it's the first card of the set. So, super nice one there. Glad to see that uh, we pulled that one. And Joe Carter's not bad either. Not bad at all whatsoever. Like I said, it could have been a Mariana Duncan. And Frank's car course of Jeff Kent should get Hall of Fame consideration. Yeah, I was definitely always a big Jeff Kent fan. I'm still trying to find his 92 score trade rookie card. I can't find that anywhere. It's the one that's eluded me for a long time now. Brett Butler is leading this one off with Larry Walker, who a lot of people think that Larry Walker should be in the Hall of Fame. And he may have his day here pretty soon. Mike Mussina is in the Hall of Fame. Very nice one there, Mike Mussina. Marquise Grissom had a very long career. And Pat Listash. You guys remember all the craze for Pat Listash in 92. A lot of craze behind him. And Todd R says the Donruss Elite cards still have value to this day. They definitely are. Like I said, Eric pulled a Fred McGriff out of a pack. I just randomly bought a pack of those. And I, I don't know if it was 91 or 92. I can't remember which, what set he's in. But he pulled a pack. I pulled it out of a pack. And I was super jealous and angry that day. Meanwhile, I ripped an entire case of 92 Don Russ and did not find one. Found a lot of kind of crappy Don Russ, Diamond Kings insert cards. But they they say that the going by the odds, you should get one out of every case. Or technically, you should find one in every case. But, you know, you can never go by that. Paul L. says Greg Swindell Diamond Kings. That's probably where the, the Swindell curse came into play. No gold card in the last pack. We did get two for the box. 
Um, like the odds said, one every seven packs. And Frank's card course says, I pulled a Matt Williams Elite 91. First box bought. I got lucky. Never saw another. Yeah, I never did either. Um, after the McGriff. I bought a Cecil Fielder um, Diamond Kings Elite card. I think it was 92. I can't remember. I actually found another card show for three bucks and bought it. I had to. That's the only one I own. Javi Lopez. I was always a Javi Lopez fan. Todd Zeal, you guys remember the craze behind Todd Zeal in 1990. Big valued cards in 90, especially his 90 Don Russ. It was a pretty big card back then. Orlando Merced, Eric was a huge Merced fan in 92 when uh, his rookie cards came out. And Gary Sheffield ends that pack and the whole box out for Jonathan H. So some decent cards in there. I said the best card he pulled overall was the Frank Thomas Gold. And those are numbered as well, which is pretty sick. But that's it for the break. Like I said, very, very short break. Very premium cards. And every box is numbered. So if you'd like to buy a box of these, I said it's about 50, 60 bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, I might get lucky and find them for a little cheaper, but maybe someday we'll chase after the A-Rod rookie card in the rookie edition of these. But like I said, the whole set is pretty much junk rookie cards. Or prospects that never really panned out overall so might be something we do someday but i'm um, hoping to have a gi joe video for you guys tomorrow or thursday hopefully so um, i'll be back again here very very soon thank you guys all for being here tonight and i hope to see you very soon have a great night guys